For clothing, I just used a pair of running shorts, Patagonia uh, odor resistant shirt. Uh, that's what I wore every day with some in Gigi socks. Uh, I had two pairs of these. I basically would wa wash pair uh, after I wore it a day, stick it into the back of the backpack to kind of dry off. And I would wear, can't keep rotating them. Um, in my bag, I had a uh, waterproof bag where I put a buff. Um, I had a pair of just pair extra pair of boxers, a pair of running shorts that I would keep just for camp. That was always nice to have, and I had an extra pair of another one of these shirts uh, that I kept inside a waterproof bag. Um, I also kept. Uh, I was debating whether or not to bring a puffy jacket. I ended up bringing one. Um, I had a, a. I'm glad I did. Was, mornings got pretty cold, and nights got pretty cold. I never hiked with it, but it was good to have it in camp. Um, you probably could get away with some kind of light fleece. Um, depends how warm or cold you are. I tend to run pretty warm, and I still got pretty cold sometimes in some of the nights. Just because you get so exhausted, um, your muscles are kind of um, repairing. So I think you get colder than you normally would. I'd recommend at least some kind of warm jacket. Um, this one ended up working pretty well for me. Um, and I'm glad I brought it. It was one of the ones I was debating whether I'd bring it or not. Um, this is the first light uh, jacket. Um, but yeah, I'm glad I brought that. Uh, one pair of thing that I probably didn't need, I brought a pair of waterproof pants. I kind of figured they'd double as pants and waterproof pants since I wasn't bringing pants. Um, and I probably could have worn them on one of the days, but I didn't wear them and I got through it. Uh, I could probably have gone away with a pair of running tights instead. Maybe a pair of lightweight hiking pants. Um, they weren't terribly heavy, but I didn't wear them. So um, I put them on during at camp because of the black flies and they worked pretty well for that um, so I'd recommend some long pants just for that but uh, again you could probably get a lighter version than that uh, for shoes I had a pair of speed goats Hoka speed goats uh, they worked really well um, had some wear and tear on the front um, stuck some shoe goo on it so you can't really see but that was kind of falling off um, the soles held up pretty well and they're still actually have a pretty good cushion to them even after about 300 miles in them um i would yeah i would consider doing them again in these uh they were definitely i run in hokas so they worked well i saw a lot of people with ultras that seemed to be the other big popular shoe out there um there's a few other different pairs of sneakers out there but i definitely recommend sneakers something that and I don't, didn't necessarily care about getting waterproof because um, you're going to get your feet wet anyway, whether it's sweat or the mud. So uh, these dried out real quick. So even if it poured out the next day, they were dry. Uh, I did a stream crossing that I had it, my foot fell in. Uh, they were dry. Uh, so, yeah, that, that worked okay for me. Uh, rain jacket. I had another Marmot product. Uh, I used the Marmot Precip jacket. It's about 10 ounces. It's pretty light. They have lighter uh, jackets out there. I actually just recently bought a uh, running jacket, which I probably would have brought instead. But this did the trick. It kept me pretty warm and dry for the two days that it just downpoured. Uh, has pit zips, which is nice. Which well, lighter jackets don't have. Um, and it has a good hood uh, with a nice duck bill, uh, which was nice to have. Um, and again, it, it was pretty light, so I um, yeah, I was happy with that. Uh, and lastly, the last thing I used on this trip was uh, trekking poles. I had Black Diamond, uh, the Distant Zs, that they, the ones that um, collapse and then you can put them back together. Um, I didn't need poles all the time, so I was glad I had collapsible ones. They also and the nice feature about having a running pack is that they actually did strap straight to the side. You could use these to strap them to it. Um, and then they, uh, that way they would be right in the front of you. Um, and they were uncomfortable to have there. So that was kind of a plus. Uh, I also had my smartphone with me. I had a Google Pixel, which took nice pictures and videos. So I'm using it for this. Uh, the... I did drop it once and crack the screen. I got that replaced later on, so um, not that really the phone's fault. Um, and I'm trying to think of anything else that I used. Um, I think that was that summarizes everything I used. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Uh, I'll get try to answer as soon as I can. 
Um, I again, the only things I would change for what I did, so I probably wouldn't bring rain pants. Um, but again, I was moving quickly, so if I was moving slowly through the rain and I didn't want to stop on days, uh, rain pants might be a good idea. And I didn't take any zero days, so again, those kind of things could factor in depending on how much gear you'd want to bring and how much weight you would want to bring. I think there wasn't anything that I missed when I was out there. Uh, there was nothing that I would wish I had brought that I didn't bring. Um, there's things that you kind of miss, like I didn't have a book to read, but again, I didn't really have many times where I wasn't pulling into camp late. Um, I didn't have, and then you don't really have service, so you can't really use your phone for anything.